This is a video to show you how to access Google Classroom from your home computers. You have two options to accessing the Google Classroom. You can simply Google the words Google Classroom into your Google search engine, or you can access it from our Science 6 page. It is also located on our Science 6 bulletin board. Simply click on here to access, or again, Google it. Now when you access into Classroom, you might get an image that looks like this that says, sorry, you're unable to get into Google Apps for Education. This is because a personal Gmail account is probably signed in under this browser. Google Classroom only works with your school's at carlsbadusd.net account. So you have to make sure you sign out or add an account to switch users. To do this, simply look on the top right hand corner and click on the drop down menu. You want to click here to add the account, especially if you're going to be switching between personal accounts and your school account. When you click on add account, there might be other accounts there and you might have to add your school one. To add the account, simply click there and you're going to be putting in your Carlsbad USD email. Again, that's going to be the email with your last name. Remember your first initial of your first name and then the last three digits of your ID. And then your password is the password that you created in SSRPM. Remember this information is written on page 31 in your ISN if you can't remember your account information. I'm going to use a generic account to sign in because I don't have a student account. But I do want you to note that the at sign needs to be present when you sign in. So it should read last name, first initial, last three digits of your student ID at carlsbadusd.net and then your password, whatever you set in the SSRPM. And you'll click in sign in. Now you have the option to click stay signed in if you want to be able to access this account easily the next time. At this point, you should be able to access the account. When you start adding more classrooms, you'll see other classrooms appearing. You want to find your Science 6 classroom for the correct class period. There you can click into the classroom and see current assignments. I can see what needs to happen and also see students that might need help. So that's how you can access it. Remember, you want to look for the turn in button and try to see if you can figure out where these things are in your Google Drive. Remember, I'm here to help you and we're practicing learning how to use Google in the classroom.